Welcome back, I'm Anne-Marie and today we're going on another Gwen adventure. Swashbuckling in the kitchen with the turkey. I will link some videos at the end of this video so you can familiarise yourself with Gwen if you have not met her before. Gwen is trying to prepare for Christmas and for the last several years she has worn the same thing Christmas Day. Some straight legged which is not out of date, straight leg, she admits, straight leg is very current at the moment, but straight leg velvet trousers and a Christmas jumper. She's also known within the family of wearing slippers. And with everything she has learned over the last few months as she's thumbed her way through her magazines, she has realized that when she wears her Christmas jumper with these trousers, there's two problems, maybe even three. One is that the jumper hanging loose over the top is creating a half and half look. The jumper's coming down to below her waist, almost the same length as her legs, creating a half and half look. And the other is that the jumper, this particular jumper, is straight and so are the trousers, which is not the most flattering, when we're talking about style, the most flattering silhouette. So Gwen realises that for those two reasons, she wants to, to change it up a bit again this year. She also wants to explore blouses because a Christmas sweater can be hot in the kitchen. And also, to what extent has it already been done so many years before by everybody? But she's not throwing it out. She wants to play with some looks with a Christmas jumper because on the day she might just have that Christmas jumper vibe. Gwen's experiments produce six outfits and she's gonna ask you to vote down below. So very simply, first of all, she remembers everything she's learned about proportions, about the third, two thirds, and so she tucks in the jumper. This achieves the more stylish proportions of the third, two thirds, third at the top, two thirds at the bottom. It creates a waist and some definition around her waist and some interest at the waist by showing off the belt and giving her, um, tucking her in. Also, it creates an opportunity to blouse on out a bit, to vumph out, to, to zhuzh the jumper, so as it can be puffed and actually then it's a wider look and not straight down, a more stylish silhouette with the straighter jeans. And she swaps out the slippers. She puts on some glittery little sneakers or trainers or slip-ons. I'm not sure quite what you call them, but anyway, they're slip-on shoes and they've got a bit of glitter. These are Jessica Simpson. I bought them a couple of years ago and they're from Nordstrom in the States. So I'll link similar down below for you if you are interested. Right, she's got the pumps on. Sneakers, slip-ons, the glittery fit shoes. And she remembered just at the last minute, push up the sleeves. Push up the sleeves to add a bit of a casual element to the jumper too. She's quite pleased with this. It's the same jumper, same trousers as she's normally wearing and she's just wearing it a little bit differently. Look one. What else can she do? Well, she thought it might be a bit too hot in the kitchen for, too hot in the kitchen. That's a song or something, isn't it? Oh, I'm not sure anyway, but it might be too hot in the kitchen for a jumper. So how about her blouses? So she has a rummage in her wardrobe and finds a blouse that looks quite festive. It's a gold color blouse and it's got shiny material. So perfect. And puts it on and realize it's even more perfect because it's actually a loose fit blouse. And that loose fit of the blouse around the sleeves, around the body of the blouse, once she's tucked it in to the straight leg trousers, gives her that silhouette of wide with straight. And it's a much more interesting silhouette. With the glittery shoes, that's it. Look two, done. She tried another blouse. This is a different shape. This is a straight, blouse and she could see immediately the colour, very festive being green, very festive with trousers, the black trousers goes really well, but she can see that the shape of this shirt, which is straight button up, button down shirt or blouse, tucked in to her straight trousers was not interesting. It's not an interesting look. Gwen realised that in order to make this blouse work, she needed to alter the shape. So there are two ways to do that. One was simply put a cardigan over the top because that widens the, the top part of the, of the outfit, hides the straightness of the blouse, meeting the straightness of the trousers at the waist. Another option would be if it was hot in the kitchen and she didn't want a cardigan on, would be to alter the shape of the blouse by untucking it. Now that would be very boring because you've then got a blouse that is 
long, hanging over straight trousers and creating a half and half look. So Gwen, with all the information she learned from magazines, realized that she could actually do a half tuck. And if she did a half tuck, that alters the shape of the blouse by making it wider, but at the same time leaves the top part of the body and the bottom part of the body as a third two thirds. Perfect. So look three would be tucked in with a cardigan. If it gets too hot, take the cardigan off, go off to another room, quickly untuck part of the blouse so you've got a half tuck and she's achieved a more stylish silhouette with this outfit. What if Gwen changed the trousers? So she had a rummage and pulled out some faux lover joggers that thought she thought they would be smart enough for Christmas. They would work well for Christmas. So Gwen tried those with her Christmas jumper and loved it. She realized straight away that her straight jumper tucked in to the wider fitted joggers created the right silhouette and the right proportions. She's got a third two thirds and she's got straight with baggy worked brilliantly and she was able to wear in that case still her Christmas jumper but give it a bit of a modern vibe. Very pleased with that. So that is Gwen's option four. Gwen is having so much fun here. She has created four outfits so far that she really likes and she is just full of optimism. So excitedly she goes to her rail again and she pulls out her gold blouse and puts it on with the baggy trousers. The joggers and realises almost immediately from everything she's read in her magazines and all the videos she's been watching online and so on, she can see she looks like she's straight out of the Pirates of the Caribbean and all she just needs is a sword and starts swashbuckling. Because, yeah, she's got baggy with baggy here. And you can see that, you see, yeah, not a good silhouette. She's got third two thirds, but she's got baggy and baggy. Yeah, and she didn't feel like, although Pirates of the Caribbean, yes, bit of a Christmas movie, but it's not really what she's going for. She doesn't want her grandchildren thinking she's going to start swashbuck swashbuckling in the kitchen with the turkey. Well, she could. Actually, that might be an idea. That's one way of carving the turkey. But still, that's not what she's aiming for. And if I can just remind you that if you're enjoying this video, that is very useful for me. So thank you very much. So abandoning the blouse for these particular trousers, I think she actually needs another option and realizes that because of the decision she made over the blouse, she needed a tighter fitted top. So with the rummage in her cupboards and wardrobes and so on, she found a slim fitting, quite a thin knit jumper that would work pretty well because it's the right color. It's burgundy and I happen to be wearing it now, but Gwen borrowed it for this exercise here to find out what she would like to wear for Christmas. So this jumper is burgundy with silver threads throughout and it's slim fit, works perfectly. Burgundy jumper and the faux leather joggers, she now has look five. Recognizing that the joggers needed the slim fit, she goes back to her teal blouse she tried on earlier on with her velvet straight leg trousers and realized also that because it's slim fit, it does also work and the colors work well together, the black with the teal, right silhouette, right proportions. So Gwen had look six. What should she wear? It's up to you now, you guys. You can have a vote in the comments down below which is your favorite outfit. So look one, two, three, four, five, six. Which one appeals to you the most? Which one do you think Gwen should wear? If you want to catch up on Gwen's previous adventures, you'll find a video here and a video here and I'll see you all in another outfit.